Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. And I'm Ava. And we're going to show you some gymnastics today. So the first thing we need to make sure is that we've got a nice clear space around us and we're on something nice and soft. So carpet is absolutely perfect. Or if you've got a nice soft gymnastics or yoga mat maybe, or some foam floor tiles, just anywhere where we're not going to injure ourselves. And just make sure there's no objects that you could fall on or that could fall on you. So once we've made sure we've got a nice safe area around us, we're going to warm up our bodies to get ourselves ready for gymnastics. So what I'd like you to try is just to copy the moves that Ava and I are making with our bodies. Now don't worry if you can't do them all, it's just about having a go and making sure we're nice and warm. So what I'd like you to do first is stand with your feet together and we're going to make a stretch shape up to the ceiling with our arms. See how tall we can go. That's it Ava, beautiful. See if you can stretch those arms right up to the sky. And then we're going to make big circles. We're going to paint big circles with our arms, round and round. And once we've done it one way, we're going to try and go the other way. So we're going to try and go forwards this time. As we're doing it, see if we can brush our ears on the way round with our arms. Fantastic. Then back into our stretch shape, right up to the ceiling. And we're going to slowly reach forward and see if we can get our hands nice and close to our feet without bending our legs. Lovely, don't worry if you can't go all the way down, just go as far as you can and we're gonna hold the stretch there. So we're gonna try that once more. So a big stretch up and we're going to reach forward slowly and we're going to hold the stretch there. Fantastic. Right, for this next stretch, we're going to sit on our bottoms. So sitting on our bottoms, stretching our legs out in front of us. And we're going to see if we can make big circles, but this time with our feet. So we're going to see if we can circle our feet one way. That's it. And then circle our feet the other way. And if that's a bit tricky, you can just see if you can push your toes down to the floor. That's it. See if we can push our toes down to the floor. And then lift them up to the ceiling. Brilliant. And then pushing our toes down to the floor. This is called pointing our toes in gymnastics. And then we're going to lift them up to the ceiling. This is called flexing our feet. So we're going to point and flex. Point and flex. Lovely. Then pointing our toes again down to the floor. We're going to do a big stretch up, arms to our ears. And we're going to reach forward and see if we can get our chest nice and close to our knees. But making sure our legs are super straight. And we're going to hold it there. Lovely. And then back up to the ceiling. And we're going to reach forward, see if we can go a little bit further this time. That's it, keep holding the stretch. Well done if you kept holding that stretch, fantastic. Right, the last thing we're gonna warm up is our wrists. So we're going to kneel up on our knees. And we're gonna clasp our hands together in a ball. Lovely, and we're going to see if we can make big circles round and round. Brilliant. And then we're going to try and make big waves. So big waves in the sea with our hands. So keeping them clasped together, we're going to move them up and down. That's it, up and down. Lovely. And then give your hands a shake. That's it, shakey shake. And let's give our feet a shake. Shake, shake. Brilliant. And we should all feel nice and warm now. And we should be ready to start our gymnastics. So we're just going to go through a few of the really important shapes that we need in our gymnastics. So some of them we've done in a warm up already. So the first one is our stretch shape. And that's where we stand with our feet together and we stretch our arms right up to the ceiling. Beautiful if you're doing this shape, lovely. And that's called our stretch shape. Lovely. The next one is wide legs and arms out to the side. And this one is called our star shape. And we can even do nice twinkly star fingers like Ava. Can you show us our twinkly star fingers? That's it, Ava, lovely. So our star shape is big wide legs and big wide arms, keeping everything super straight. Well done. Right, we'll do one more shape. And this one is a squat shape. So for this one, we need to go really small. We need to bend our knees and keep our hands and our feet flat on the floor. And we need to make sure our knees are glued together. So stick those knees together, hands nice and flat. Very good. 
Right, shall we see if we can remember those three shapes? So, who remembers the star shape? There we go, nice wide arms, nice wide legs, and twinkle those fingers. Well done if you remember the star shape. Who remembers the squat shape? Do you remember the squat shape? So we've got to make ourselves really small, lovely, and we've got to glue our knees together. Beautiful. Well done if you remember the squat shape. And who remembers the stretch shape? That's it. Well done. Stretch those arms nice and tall. Beautiful. So we've got to make ourselves as tall as we can. Stretching those fingers up to the ceiling. Fantastic. Right, I think we can do two more shapes. Because you did those so well, I think we're going to add two more. So the next one we're going to learn is a shape on our sitting on our bottoms. So for this one, we're going to sit on our bottoms, just like we did in the warm-up, point our toes and stretch our arms up. Good. Now this one is called a pike shape. A pike shape, this one. So we've got to keep our legs glued together. So squeeze those legs together, keep those toes pointed to the floor and arms up to the ceiling. Lovely. So that's our pike. And we're going to try one more sitting on our bottoms. And for this one, we need to move one leg to one side and one leg to the other side and place our hands flat on the middle, in the middle of our legs on the floor. And this one is called our straddle shape or our straddle sit. So pike shape, we have legs together and straddle sit, we have legs apart with our hands nice and flat. Fantastic. Right, I think you guys might be able to remember those without me showing you. So I'm going to call out a shape and I'd like you to see how quickly you can get into that shape. So, who can show us a star shape? Well done, big wide arms, well done if you made this shape, fantastic. Who can show me a pike sit? What's a pike shape or a pike sit? That's it, on our bottoms, squeezing our legs together and stretching our arms up. Well done if you made this shape. Who can show me a straddle sit. Oh, very quick, Ava. Well done, even before I said it. And then we're going to pop our hands in the middle, nice wide legs, and looking forward. Brilliant. And who can remember the squat shape? Lovely. So we've got to make ourselves nice and small, hands nice and flat, and glue our knees together. And the last one, who can remember the stretch shape? That's it, well done if you did a nice tall shape, stretching those arms and fingers up to the ceiling. Very good guys, give yourselves a pat on the back. Well done. Right, we're going to learn how to do a roll in gymnastics today. And the roll we're going to learn is going to use one of the shapes that we've just learned. And that shape is the straddle sit. So Ava, could you show me a straddle sit? So if you sit on your bottom, that's it, nice wide legs. That's it, keep our legs nice and wide. We're gonna see if we can point our toes down to the floor. Brilliant. Now what we're going to try and do is in the roll, we need to try and stay in the shape all the way through the roll that we're going to do. So what I'd like you to try is just in this shape, popping your hands on your legs, I'd like to see if you can rock backwards and forwards, but keeping yourself in this shape. So we're gonna keep our chin on our chest, and we're going to see if we can rock, big wide legs, rock backwards and forwards. And we're going to try that one again, so keeping our chin touching our chest. That's it. Can you pop your chin on your chest over? Super. We're going to rock backwards, keeping our legs in that big straddle sit, and forwards. Brilliant. So well done if you had a try of that. Don't worry, that's a bit tricky if it's the first time doing it. So it's just something you can have a practice, making sure you've got a nice safe area to practice in, obviously. That's it. We're going to pop our hands on the floor. We're going to point our feet. We're going to make our legs nice and wide. And we're going to, instead of rolling backwards and forwards, we're going to try and roll to the side. So Ava, which shoulder would you like to roll onto? Should we try and roll onto this shoulder or onto this shoulder? This shoulder. So grown-ups, you can help your children with this one. So if you just get your children to hold on to their legs and then see if they can roll onto the shoulder that they choose 
across their back and then sit back in the straddle, sit facing the other way. So Ava, I'm just going to move you forward slightly. That's it, let's just shuffle you forward. Good girl. And we're going to roll onto Ava's left shoulder. So Ava's going to roll onto her left shoulder, keeping in her nice straddle shape, taking her legs with her, across her back, and back up to straddle, sit facing the other way. Brilliant. And we're going to do it once more. So if you stay in your straddle sit, Ava, we're going to roll onto the left shoulder. That's it. Across your back, keeping in the straddle sit, and big wide legs. Very good guys if you've had a try of that one. Now that is a tricky skill, so don't worry if you can't do it straight away. You're just going to have a go of rocking backwards and forwards first, making sure you can hold that nice straddle shape. And then once you can hold that straddle shape beautifully, then you can have a try of rocking from one shoulder across your back and try and sit in straddle sit facing the other way. And that's our teddy bear roll. So that's our lesson for today guys. Very well done for having a go today. Thank you very much for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Thanks guys, Bye. see you soon.